Hello everyone around the world. Welcome back to my channel, Adrenal Bacas Lovers Ministry. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, so that you'll be notified of my new videos. So don't forget to check your notification because I have been downloading or uploading videos in this channel because we are in the finale guys so jesus christ is coming very soon to take all his genuine followers in heaven that's what we call the rapture so the rapture just to let you know that word rapture it's not found in the bible so that is uh, another word what we call taken to heaven so just get ready for that event because he is coming very soon he is going to bring his true people in heaven before he will pour the great wrath of god here on earth and he is definitely gonna reign on earth for a thousand years so that's gonna be very exciting for those who are genuine followers of jesus christ but the this second coming also is a horrible day a nightmare for those who deny him who are not walking with him who are lukewarm who are who belong to the five churches that jesus christ mentioned in the bible so the dead loveless the lukewarm the compromise the corrupt churches so jesus christ through G jesus christ he revealed that to john all right so one of his disciples in patmos by the way so he definitely gonna come guys so let's get let's just get ready because it's really uh you know um getting getting crazy around the world and we are owed to prepare every day each day is another a day for you to come to jesus christ while the boat is open so anytime he will come he will come and get ready for that so i'm here god jesus grace open this ministry for me to get you guys ready get you guys ready for his second coming because he's going he's going to come whether you like it or not guys i uh would like you to um before i forgot check my facebook page because i've been posting a lot of god's words and god's words god's prophetic words so there, there are lots of Bible verses there. So, if you want to be encouraged every day, there is there are lots of um, tools online, online blog. Your your congregation has different kinds of places for you to grow if you want, because growing in Christ is. A choice it's a choice and nobody can show that your face because even people or me will gonna force you to, to grow in Christ but you don't want to grow there's nothing we can do for you but if you want to grow you gotta be intentional with your walk with your walk with Jesus Christ as the devil is very intentional every day to destroy any one of us because that's his main goal is to steal kill and destroy he will not gonna take a day off so if i were you don't take a day off as well in walking with jesus christ because the way the more you don't walk with jesus christ you are opening a door for him to give him an access to destroy you forever all right so 
yeah check my facebook if i have not mentioned it or if i did because i forgot so that is www.facebook.com slash adrenalb mm. last but not the least this holy bible so this is your gps and this is my gps so it's very very important to open your bible every day read his words don't do bible cutting guys i i've done that when i was very immature and again do not do a bible cutting I really encourage you all do not do Bible cutting. That's not how, how it works. It is just like when you read a what do you call that one like a novel, right? You're you cannot just open and read the middle. You cannot understand his words. You cannot understand the story of that novel that you're reading. You cannot start from the beginning. If you want to uh, I really encourage you that you can start in the book of Genesis if you want to do that for the first, first, uh, no, for the Old Testament. But if you want to do the Old Testament, one chapter of Old Testament, and then next is the New Testament. So you have to start, I encourage you to start in the book of John. Why in the book of John? Because you'll be able to find out who Jesus is, right? J who Jesus is, like John 1 1, you just say, in the beginning, the word, in the beginning was the word. That's what I mean. In the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. So, you'll be able to find out in the book of Revelation, it mentioned about the Word. So, Jesus is the Word. So, if you don't want to spend time with His words, you are basically not spending time with the Lord. So, I've mentioned that before. I think I've mentioned that in my previous post couple years ago that a relationship with Jesus Christ is not di uh, it's not monologue that's what I mean it's not monologue it means he will not only talk 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 to you and you shut up or you just keep talking and you're not gonna allow Jesus Christ to talk to you so that's why our relationship with one another with our spouse with our friends our children and especially with the Lord it's a dialogue okay it's not it's a mutual relationship it's not a parasitic relationship if i was talking about parasitic relationship it means you are a sucker you're a blood sucker and you're sucking off jesus christ what you can get from him but you don't listen to him again you don't listen to him that's not gonna work you're gonna listen to him through his words through other people like me or your pastors or friends and even to your circumstances your problems it could be and then dreams visions so there are lots of things that God can speak to you but you're gonna be open-minded because if you will not gonna you know op be opened to his teaching you're not gonna grow you are not gonna be able to to, to, to know who he is you're not going to be able to be guided correctly because if you're just going to follow your ways according to the Bible the end is death right so yeah so I really encourage you all to read your Bible apply swords every day so that because that's how you we will communicate how how we will gonna build up relationship with Jesus Christ, right? Is three words, spending time with him, pray without ceasing. You don't stop praying. You don't pray only when you are in disaster. You pray before you will experience problems. That's why you're gonna need to be to open your Bible and apply his words every day. So if you wanna be in heaven, end up in heaven. Because that's a promise. Only two places that you and I will end up after you after you and I died. 
our soul will live forever. So only heaven and hell. There's no purgatory. There's no whatever is that they're, they're talking about in the other religion. Only believe what Jesus mentioned in the Bible. So Jesus mentioned only heaven and hell. And he mentioned he hell more than heaven. So if you want to be raptured, if you want to uh, be part of Jesus' kingdom here on earth, that he will reign for a thousand years, if you want to know his blessings, his, plan, his plans and promises for your life, read your Bible, Bible, again, read your Bible, and apply his words as much as you can. None of us are going to be perfect because no one is perfect, only Jesus is, but through through this his words then empowerment of the holy spirit he will give us strength to overcome sin all right so if you want to know to get all the benefits that god has already promised here we got we got around three thousand promises he got three thousand promises for us here in the bible so read your bible and apply his words otherwise if you just want to live a wicked life you can do that to us well that is your choice but without jesus christ you will end up in hell period all right guys so i have a word for you that i would like to share to you the title of this message oh this this is god's word the letter a that the holy spirit spoke to me last october 30 2023 the title of this message is this is your season to win again this is your season to win the word says this is not a season of clubbing time for the christians but this is a season of killing and defeating time of the spiritual enemies you know who are the spiritual enemies this is an ad lib the devil the demons that you cannot see, only Jesus can see them. Get up and get your swords ready for the spiritual battles. This is a winning, reclaiming all the blessings that the devil has stolen from you and I and the paying back season. What the devil has stolen from you and I God, Jesus Christ, will demand the devil to pay us back seven folds. This is your season to win. Again, this is your season. This is my season to win. That's the word, guys. If you have not received Jesus Christ as your Lord, you get and your Savior, today is the day of your salvation. Don't wait tomorrow because tomorrow is no guarantee for you. All you have to do is to repent. Invite Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior, and then promise Him to follow Him for the rest of your life. You can pray your own simple prayer, or you can pray along with a simple prayer. Here you go. Lord Jesus Christ, please forgive me for all my sins. Please come into my heart and into my life and be my Lord, my God, and my Savior. From now on, Jesus, I will follow you for the rest of my life. Amen. So if you pray the simple prayer, according to the Bible, your name is written in the book of life, but... If you are still rejecting Jesus Christ as your Lord, your God, and your Savior, according to the Bible, in the book of Revelation, chapter 20, verse 15, it says, If anyone's name was not found written, and the book of life was casted in the lake of fire. So guys, this is a warning and invitation. So you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.